จีนนะจีนประสบความสําเร็จในการโคลนนิ่งสุนัขขึ้นมา3ตัวนะฮะบางคนบอกว่าโหดร้ายทรมานมากแต่นี่คือเป็นภารกิจเพื่อการรักษามนุษย์ในอนาคตติดตามจากรายงานนะครับติดตามและพักครู่เดียวช่วงหน้าความเคลื่อนไหวกีฬาครับค่ะ This is a cute puppy. So is this one and this one. In fact, all three are equally cute because they are genetically identical. Each one is a clone of this dog named Apple. s i n o g e n e the company behind the puppies, say they're a breakthrough. The first time dogs have been cloned independently in China. But these dogs will not lead normal lives. They will be kept in this small room. Their surrogate mothers in cages, not often allowed to leave. They will likely become sick and could die prematurely, because these dogs were cloned for one main reason: medical research. Dogs have almost as many inheritable diseases as humans, which makes them the best disease models to study. One is atherosclerosis, a disease that can lead to heart attack and stroke. The original dog, Apple, was genetically edited to have problems regulating cholesterol. It's a leading cause of the disease. His clones, these three puppies, therefore have the same problem. Their whole lives will be one test after another, devoted to learning about that illness. So this puppy is called Long Long. Uh, he was born a couple months ago, back in May. Uh, he's one of three different puppies that have been cloned here. But the plan, the company says, is to do more cloning in the future based on demand for research into other things like heart disease. Cloning is a young but growing aspect of the medical research industry worldwide. It's a simple reality that for many drugs that hit pharmacy shelves, animal testing was involved. In China alone, some 20 million animals are involved in the practice. Chi Su Ching is with People for the Ethical Treatment of Animals. The group argues animal testing is amoral, and things like computer modeling and using human tissue samples can be just as effective. It's extremely cool. We know that in China there's no animal welfare laws. China does have some rules surrounding animal testing, focused mainly on humane treatment. But critics say the mandates are vague and aren't properly enforced. s i n o g e n e says it treats Long Long and the others with care and respect. Personally, we love these dogs. I check on them as soon as we get to work. Given that, these men and women face an ethical dilemma: is creating a life destined for illness and pain worth it? For some, it comes down to a simple question. Do you believe that the work you're doing here will save human lives? Yes, I believe that. Matt Rivers, CNN, Beijing.